what's up guys we've got another one to go over before it goes out to australia uh, my buddy andrew wanted a black and silver and orange scuba dude so this is an actual mod um taking an actual existing dial and uh he wanted a polished case so you'll notice these are magnets for uh fingerprinting so uh what we did on this one was we took an existing Vostok Amphibia dial and did some new style hands on it, some Ploprof style hands. Um, kept it polished. I normally do a chemical blast or bead blast on my cases or Cerakote. So we've got, like I said, you can see how easy these things will fingerprint. Did a nice aggressive shark tooth bezel on there. Kept that polished with an orange tachymeter insert. Get it set back on 60 there. Then did a black Cerakote uh, engineered band engraved at Boxhawk. Threw my uh, logo on there. Has an exhibition case back on there with a black rotor to go with the uh, black dial. Did a black Cerakote crown on there with the anchor engraved. It's got a stainless steel movement holder in there somewhere off to the side. This engineered band actually happens to have quick release disconnect, so you can just push down, pop it off. Now looking at it through the camera might be tough. Eh, wasn't too terrible. Put it right back on. So that is his build. And uh, did him a nice matching dial there. Actually, this is uh, the other Scuba Dude version of it where it's kind of up at the top. This black with orange is kind of set up where it's at the bottom. So that is the build. Also threw in there for him the Scuba Dude case back just to throw it out there for him. Matches uh, his dial in reverse. Matching beads, as always, we got some hematite in there, some black and orange. And then uh, <clears throat> since I happened to already be shipping to him and I was working on another watch for him that happened to be finished a while back that was already sized, just so you guys can see it, we've got a bright old orange one here. So, Andrew already knows everything about winding and adjusting the, the bezel and how that works. But so you guys can see it, as soon as you back off on the crown here, you can start winding and you'll see it starts going. That wa This watch has been sitting here for probably two weeks waiting on me to finish the other one. So... Wind it. It's a little tough to wind this uh, smaller crown here against this. Uh, it's a tooth. It's a, what, are, what do we call this? I don't remember what we called this bezel. You don't see them too often. It's a tooth bezel, but so for those of you who don't know, this is on there. Super, 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 super tight. But you can turn it left and right. There's no clicking on it. And uh, Boktok engraved crown there. So that's a stock crown. Exhibition case back. With one of my older rotors on there. This is a watch I did for him a while back. With my BVW logo on there. Larger print box hawk with my old logo on there. Not that I don't still use this logo. But I do the BVW like that. On these cases now. So... Always try and change it up a little bit. Um, silver hand set on that with an orange second sand, a uh, very long second sand. So, um, and it's got more of like a, a sunburst style dial on that one. So, that's his build on that. So, these are both heading out to Australia for him. So, if you need something cool and custom made for you, I love making things in orange. So, um, we can make you something cool. So, if you want to continue to watch these videos as I'm building, like and subscribe. and Maybe I can build you a watch someday and you can watch your watch on here. So thanks for the support and we'll see you next time.